Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome on back to Techtopia. Can you guys believe just how fully grown these crops are still? We have so many farmers now, they've just gone to bed, you just missed them. Oh, or probably gone to the tavern actually, but we have tons and tons of farmers, but all of these crops, there's still so many of them that are ready to be harvested. So I'm thinking that today, at some point or another, I'm going to hi uh, hire a few more as well as some other villagers of varying professions. I do have plans to build a few more houses in today's episode episode because we have lots of spaces to fill up still so I think that's actually what we're going to jump straight into to begin with here. This house is eventually going to become a home for eight different villagers. We're doing what we usually do when we need more than six villagers all within the same household, which is to buy several different home tokens and place them all within the same structure. So for this build right here, we've got four different two-person homes all on the inside, and I'm really pushing the, lim pushing the limits for floor space here. So in case you don't already know, in Tectopia, a village villager will need 12 floor spaces on the floor in any structure, whether that's home, storage room, butcher, blacksmith, anything really. They need to have space, otherwise they're going to feel overcrowded. So for a two-person home, we need 24 floor tiles, which is the exact number that I've hit for all of these two-person homes on the inside. So I'm not really going to be able to do much with them. They're going to look very similar, if not identical, but I think that might actually be cool in a way. Maybe we can make this a hotel of sorts. I know we do have the under and out bar and in, which is what I kind of see as somewhat of a hotel. If nomads need to come and crash during the night, they can go to there, but maybe if that's full they can come grab a bed in this building right here haven't actually done anything too much on the inside here just yet. I wanted to show you how small the rooms were actually going to be before we start placing too many of the blocks down. So pretty much on all of the four corners here, we're just placing three in a row like this on both sides and then one in the middle here. So this is what our hallway is going to be like. We'll probably have the doorway, something like this maybe. I'm not really too sure yet. But yeah, you can see there's not too much room. If we just do a bit of counting here, this is rows of five. So we've got five. 10, 15, 20, and then an extra four here. So obviously the beds and the chairs won't take up floor spaces, but I'm, I'm really limited. I have not got a lot of room to play with in here, so not too sure how interesting I'm gonna be able to make these. 21 emeralds. It's getting pretty expensive now. I remember home tokens used to be single digits. Now we're up to 21. It's probably going to be a point sometime soon where I have to stop buying tokens and just make purely cosmetic bills, but not just yet. Anyway, I've done uh, inside of here, so let's head on inside and take a look around. We can actually place our first two tokens down while we're here. So yeah, this is what I've got. I'll explain a little bit about this central area in a bit, but as you can see, the rooms... Yeah, looking pretty plain. <laughs> I couldn't really do too much. We'll go place our other two tokens down before I forget, like that. There we go. Of course, same in here. I did add a painting on the wall on each of them just to spice up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, very boring rooms, but what can I do really? So in the middle here, we've got some seating on either side, some more paintings. And then in the middle here, I kind of wanted to add some sort of I, I don't know, statue of sorts or some sort of modern art piece. Uh, as I say, we're in a very old style desert village. <laughs> Maybe not modern art, but uh, something in the middle here. I have no idea what it is. I just needed something in the center here. If you guys have any better ideas, please let me know because I'm not really too fussed about this at the moment. I have a little bit of a heart situation. These six on my hotbar are actually the only ones I have, so I'm gonna go ahead and place these six down anyway, and then we'll have two spare beds remaining. But yeah, it's uh, it's for some reason getting very difficult to obtain these hearts. I never struggled with this in the old village, so don't know why I am so much this time around. Maybe I'm just spawning in more villagers than I did last time. That's probably the case, but I need to actually keep an eye out and uh, actually check in these homes because I don't really do that that often, so need to make a habit of that. You okay, Larry? Did we call you Larry? I think so. Yep, yeah, Larry. Still sticking his head through the trapdoor. So this is my rabbit pen. There were originally four rabbits in here, but I think one might have gotten three because I can only count three at the moment. Yeah, I think one might have got scared and ran away. They can actually hop over the fence if they get spooked, so not going to get too close and uh, let that happen. But I want to do something like this, but for the llamas, because we're actually using them quite a bit in this village, we've got them incorporated into the merchant's wagon over there if they load in. <laughs> uh, we've also got Larry, of course, Larry the llama. And we've also got a little build outside the main gates here, which is meant to be where the nomads kind of drop their llamas off for the day while they go and look inside the village, and then they come back and go onwards to the next one. That's how they, you know, travel around on llama back, <laughs> I guess. Um, so I want to do 
basically something like this, but for the llamas. Not too sure where to put it at the moment. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to breed these two llamas up and they'll actually let me take their baby from them. <laughs> Sounds horrible, but I don't know whether they're gonna like join onto the caravan and then not be able to break free from it, but I guess we won't know till we try. I don't wanna, I, I wanna breed you. D do I not use hay bales? Oh, there we go. That's just a very weird visual glitch, I guess. Okay, so here's the baby looking super adorable. Oh, they're so cute. No, no, you're running to a caravan with Larry. Stop it. You gotta break free. You're not allowed to caravan with Larry. Oh, he wants to go back so bad. <laughs> I feel, I feel terrible. Um, come on, keep. I don't know why he went straight to Larry. <laughs> Never mind his his two parents. He wanted to go to Larry. No, nope, come on, you're actually going to break the lead in a second, and that's not what we want. I think I'm able to outstrength the baby llama, which is always good for my self-esteem. <laughs> Would be a. Oh no, no, he 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 ruined me. <laughs> come back, baby llama. Have you joined on with here now? You're you're hiding under the caravan. He's a smart one, that's for sure. There we go, I got him in the end, he, uh, as you saw there, just kind of gave up on trying to go back to them and uh, follow me instead. So, yeah, he's in here now, but I gotta give him some friends, because he looks quite lonely at the moment. So, I actually managed to get all of the llamas in place, we've only got three of them, in the space of 20 minutes, which means that they are all babies, and this is the most adorable thing I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Look at them, the best of buds. I think I've only got, I, there's only three llama colours, right? Maybe not, I don't know. Oh, look at you two synchronize look at me. <laughs> they're so cute, I can't I can't deal with it. Sad thing is though, they're gonna grow up in probably like five minutes and not look as cute anymore. But they've they've had a good childhood together. They're gonna be be best friends for life, aren't you guys? So um yeah, <laughs> it's just I, I wish I could make them stay babies forever. Um so what I've got going on here, we've got a nice little shelter in the middle, so when a sandstorm picks up or maybe it rains, not that it ever rains here, but um occasionally it might, they can come under shelter here and chill on this carpet. They've also got some hay bales around the edge to eat and some uh, lichen is what this is meant to be, but really it's just vines. And then we've got a couple cauldrons for them to drink out of, and then a couple flower pots dotted around, meant to be some sort of ball that they can play with. So yeah, these three should enjoy stuff in here. I guess, again, if you I always ask you guys for names of animals, but I think it's a really nice, fun thing to do, and you guys can uh, get involved that way. So if you got names for these three amigos, drop them in the comments, and then we'll do that some episode down the line. Turns out there are actually four llama types. There is a grey llama, but I don't know how to get one of them and I'm not really willing to go hundreds of blocks away, possibly even thousands, and then drag a llama over just for the sake of that. So I think we're just going to keep it as those three for now. I guess maybe someday down the line we can go get a grey llama, or there may even be more. I could have done some research, I, or bad research, I didn't really spend long looking into it, but yeah, the three of them, that was a terrible takeoff, are fine for now. And I think what we're going to do right now is actually build something that would be super cool if it could actually be functional in the village here, which is a wizard tower. Now, there aren't any wizards in Tectopia, unfortunately, however cool it would be, but that doesn't mean we can't make a cool build of it, so I'm going to find a spot to build it in, and yeah, I can show you what I've come up with.
something I do with my builds is put a lot of thought into the location of where I'm building them and how it's going to look from on the ground here when I'm walking around the village. So eventually we will have some sort of building here in between the library and the school which will create a nice little narrow alleyway coming down here which actually leads to this big grand reveal once you turn the corner of the wizard tower which I think just looks really cool and it's going to look pretty neat from this way too when we've got another alleyway coming through and you can see it all spectacular at the end there so yeah that'll look better when we actually have a building here but I just thought that was pretty cool there's my building tip of the day think about where you're actually placing these builds and how it's going to look when you're trying to immersify yourself into your village but I've actually decorated the inside of here as you can probably guess very very limited room in here the second level is well first level is a one by one which leads to a ladder to the second floor which is a three by three staircase and then it goes to the top level here which is where the wizard will be doing his wizardry I know it's a little bit of a witch's vibe maybe with the cauldron and the brewing stand but there we go it doesn't really matter too much this is actually a blues blue glazed terracotta block um, just for some funky patterns I'm imagining this is like his wand here or something and a feather for some reason <laughs> I don't know that he can wave around here and chuck in there or something to make some potions or spells or whatnot and then at the top here we've just got some storage because well there isn't any room to put it on the floor down here so for me, the episode where we built our chonky sphinx over here has only just gone out and I've not long finished reading all of your comments and a lot of you guys seem to really like this guy and yeah, I still do too. So really happy about that. You don't think it's an absolute abomination and want me to blow up with TNT. So that's always good. Thank you for the nice comments about this guy. But one thing that did creep up more than anything else really is that we should have a tail on the back here gotta agree with you the the back end of this guy looks a little strange and could probably use a tail the only reason I didn't add one was because I didn't know if sphinx uh, in real life actually had tails but turns out they do and usually they like wrap it around the body like normal cats would in real life so we're gonna try wing this on camera and see how this goes <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to come up with anything too good but maybe if we just I, I want to add a lot of curves into it and make it look kind of natural as best as I can not that I can say I've ever made a cat's tail in Minecraft um, yeah we'll go around to the left side here and then maybe have another stair and then we can possibly flatten it out a little bit with some slabs does that look okay maybe maybe another like stair on uh actually I'll tell you what we could do we could do an upside down stair here with a slab how does that look not too bad. I don't know. I, th I think it looks better than just a complete flat bottom here. <laughs> Gotta say that's a definite improvement. And honestly, yeah, I, I think I'm happy with that. There are lots of skeletons dying outside. You guys will have to let me know whether that's an improvement or not. I think it is, but I'll wait to see what you guys have to say. Ah, uh, look at our llamas over here. They're all grown up. They're not quite as cute anymore, but they still are super adorable. And yeah, they look like they're loving life. They haven't managed to escape yet, which is always good as well. I was a bit worried about that. Some of the six children that we spawned in earlier, as you can see, have now grown up. There's still a couple of children left running around, but I thought we'd buy the tokens now whilst I'm thinking about it. I'm probably going to do some pretty basic ones to begin with here. I'm thinking we're going to do four of them farmers, because I like to buy the farmers in groups of four, so I can assign one to each crop. You're the architect, I don't need you, I need you, tradesmen. So we're going to get ourselves four farmers, that's miners, where's the hoe? Somewhere along here, yeah, there it is, so if we get 40 of these... There we go, we can get four of them, and then I'm thinking I might just get two more miners for now, maybe? And then we do still have two more to spawn in, um, two more children, that is, so we can maybe spend a bit more for those two, but I think four farmers and two miners should be fine for now. Oh, and something else I forgot to do when we built the barracks and got all of these guards here was to actually make one of them the captain. So we're going to buy that token right now and then I think I'm going to try and find who is the highest rated and then we'll just give that person the captaincy here. So if we just get one of them, any more than that would be a bigger waste, I think. I can only, I'm pretty sure you can only have one captain anyway. So yeah, I'm going to go figure out which one of these is the highest rated as well as handing all of these out. Okay, we may have a little bit of a crisis situation on. I'm not too alarmed because this happens fairly frequently, but one of my druids is currently starving to death. They like to kind of get a bit preoccupied in the mines and uh, end up getting quite low on health and then all of their food disappears. So this is going to be a bit of a make or break situation right here. A uh, bit worried at the moment because he, he's for some reason taking the long way around. Okay, come on, Dongarth. You've only got... 
Uh, you've just been healed, actually, by the cleric, so that's good. Um, should manage to keep you alive. Okay, yeah, I think we're good, because somebody here is helping out. I, I don't quite know who is doing it, but they're doing a good job, that's for sure. Yeah, that happens pretty often, honestly. They'll be down in the mines, replenishing the ores in the earth, picking up some food now. There you go. Well done. <laughs> you survived another day. Um, yeah, and they'll get too busy doing that, and then they just start starving, and they take forever to walk up. But I guess that's where the clerics really become the MVPs. Your life just got saved, buddy. Yet another occasion where the Tectopia information mod comes in handy. So on the left hand page here we can see the guard summary and it will show the levels of all of our guards in the village, all 10 of them. And you can see the highest level here is Zandrilla Webb at level 100, but that's only because she has been blessed. Same goes for these two down here with the coloured writing. And I feel like I ran into Zandrilla a couple of minutes ago, well more than a couple of minutes ago, but I don't think she is higher level than 67 up here with Sela Rakuran. So I'm going to go for find Sela and give her the captaincy. I have found Sela here, she's about to leave now but she was in the barracks here with the rest of the guards so we're gonna make you the captain, let's just make sure I've got the right one, yep <laughs> level 67 so now you're gonna get some spiky horns and I, I think that's it. I think you get a special skill when you're attacking monsters which we don't get to see very often but yes you are the captain of the guards, I hope you enjoy your new role. I also would like to just quickly plop down these two hearts because we have two spaces left in the village or two beds over Open, so may as well spawn some children and they can go on growing up whilst I do some other things. So what I'm doing right now is filling in that gap in between the school and the library that I said about earlier and we're just building up two little homes here. There are only two person ones here, there's only going to be four more villagers to spawn in. Not too sure if we're going to get to that today or not but um, we will do that at some point and Talking of spawning in children, I know there's quite a lot of villagers walking around the place here, but we're actually only sat at 76, I think, at the moment, and I think it would be quite cool if we could get to an even 100. So that's kind of my goal for this, and then once we do hit that magical figure, I will stop there and stop spawning in villages, uh, villagers, sorry, I should say, and then any other houses or builds that would require more villagers, I'll just do as a cosmetic build so they won't actually have a function. They will just be there to look pretty. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I'm thinking I do that once we do eventually hit 100, but as I said, we're only on 76 at the moment, so I've still got a little ways to go. Before we do the interiors of those, I would quite like to buy the tokens quickly, so we're going to get the two two-person homes ones here. That was a tricky sentence to say. <laughs> and then we're going to go over here and actually buy the tradesman tokens for the two children that are currently running about the village. I think I'm going to buy a cleric and a rancher who is just next door. So yeah, why I'm getting them, honestly, I don't really know. <laughs> so there is one token in place and there is the other. Cool, we now have four extra beds ready to spawn in some children, but I'm not gonna do that today because I don't really feel like waiting around an extra five days for some kids to grow up, so we'll have to save that for next episode. But let me show you what I've done quickly on the inside here. So for this one, we've got our two beds over there with some drawers, our table with some two chairs, another chair over here if they want some variation if these two aren't going to quite cut it one day <laughs> another little table and then just a chest by the entrance way here I try my best to cover this blue terracotta up while making it look somewhat okay I think it's all right and not that they can use this but there's a ladder going up to a second floor with a little balcony out here which I think is quite a nice little touch let's uh, watch the sunset rise just above the house kind of can't really see it but that sure does look beautiful doesn't it and then we can actually go up another level up on top of the roof here where we can actually see the sunrise even better so yeah unfortunately villagers can't climb ladders, but if they did they would sure enough get a good view up here really stumbled over my words there I kind of just stopped talking I think I just choked for a second but uh, <laughs> we're good let me show you the other house so in here we've got a little bit of a different thing I've put a pillar in the middle of this one which I don't think I've done before Ever, so kind of gets in the way a little bit but I think we do still have the needed 20 floor floor spaces here so we shouldn't be good for uh, overcrowding but yeah we got our two beds over here a nice little table and chairs they've got a nice view of the wall <laughs> so hopefully they'll enjoy that and I've just put a furnace here next to a hole in the wall I purposely left this open for a trap door but I'm beginning to think now maybe I should put one in there's a direct view right into the school there I don't really know if I like that um, but I will leave it for now and uh, yeah maybe a sandstone sofa over here if they so please but yes that is the two houses I can now speak again <laughs> let's go uh, hopefully give these two 
uh, tokens to some children, but I believe they haven't grown up yet, so I might have to do just a little bit of waiting. I could have sworn I just saw one child that has grown up into a nitwit, but I've lost them now, so... Oh, there he is, or she is, sorry. Is a person stuck in here? Yes. This happened uh, earlier, well, the other day, actually, when I wasn't recording this episode. I might need to exchange these maybe, like, for fences, or not fences, sorry, signs, perhaps, because their uh, trapdoors are, like, seen as a full block and it causes pathfinding issues all of the time. <laughs> so, yeah, if they keep falling in this pond here, I might have to do something about that, but I'll do that after I've finished this episode. Thanks, uh, farmer. Now I've lost the nitwit that was around here somewhere. There you are. Okay, I need to have a look at their levels, actually, because I'm not sure who is higher, because whoever higher, or whoever is highest, is going to get the... Uh, Cleric token, and you're already 50 and 2 in Cleric, so it might be you, Alishka. Here is the other one, I do believe. Yes, Rose Morn, who is 54 and 1 in Cleric, so really, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to give you the Rancher token, and then we'll run over to, what level are you? 44, wow, that's good. We'll run over to Alishka real quick and pop the Cleric token on her. So now we got some extra healers for when our Druids start starving to death. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for the episode. I hope you did enjoy it. I am up here on top of the storage tower, floating on top of a fence. Very strange this is, but I'm really happy with everything we've got done today. The llama pen over there, and I, I kept calling this a hotel. It really should not be called a hotel. A hotel would not fit in a village like this. It's more of an inn, let's say. So we've got that building there. We also did the wizard tower, of course, and a couple of houses down here. So, yeah, good progress today. Very happy with it. Hope you guys did enjoy watching. Thank you ever so much for doing that, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.